I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me! It's Althera! From the Grove! I'm sorry for barging in like this, but... I had to come find you. You've... Well... Inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. To prove that I can be half the bard my teacher was. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped me. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. Really? Just like that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Just keep it quiet here. Yeah? I won't let you down. I promise. Something's on my mind. I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. moment comes to you, the flash of abject terror in her eyes, blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. Dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? that you could be guilty of such bitter business. Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you.
You scrub yourself until your hands are cold and raw. You can tell the blood is washing away, but your heart mourns its loss so dearly. If you are fortunate, no soul will be able to know you were behind this murder. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? It is dangerous, wandering around at night. You could bump into anything. Your guilt is safe. For now, as the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. Much is uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again, unless you find a light. May the darkness protect you. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing.
asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Normally I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment. Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. It might condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But. Doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, though. Fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. a marvel to behold. Even Balderan himself would bow to such formidable talent. <sighs> Introductions are in order. The Blade of Frontiers, at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. Hell's great fires. You're on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Carlax, her name. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses.
An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Evil sets upon your thoughts. Killing a legend could make you a famous villain indeed. Death or glory will. This way lies only death. <laughs>